Welcome back, fellow Americans. Today, I'm here to share something crucial with you. Have you ever thought about the backbone of your survival stash? Yes, I'm talking about our essential foods. I've got news that's as serious as it gets. Next month, we're looking at a huge price spike for seven of our go-to staples. Can you guess which ones they are? The gravity of this situation cannot be overstated. In the face of impending economic shifts and market uncertainties, the imminent price surge for these essentials could significantly impact our daily lives. The thought of not having access to these staples or facing financial strain to obtain them is a cause for concern for many. It's a reminder of the volatile nature of our food supply chain and the importance of being prepared. Here are the seven ones that will see a price increase, and I strongly recommend to stockpile as much as you can now. 7. Beef and Veal With the landscape of food prices constantly shifting, it's more important than ever to be mindful of how these changes impact our wallets and our pantries. Recently, we've seen beef and veal prices holding steady from November to December 2023, but let's not forget, they're still sitting at a significant 8.7% higher than where they were in December of the previous year. As we cast our eyes towards 2024, the forecast isn't looking any brighter. Experts are predicting a noticeable increase in beef and veal prices by about 5.8%. This isn't just a minor bump, it's poised to be the most substantial price growth among all food categories for the year. What does this mean for you and me? Well, for starters, it's a clear signal that if beef and veal are staples in your diet, planning ahead could save you a good chunk of change. However, Diving into stockpiling without a plan could be just as risky as doing nothing at all. The prediction interval for these price changes is wide. We're talking a potential swing from a decrease of 2.8% to an increase of 15.7%. This level of uncertainty underscores the need for a measured approach to buying in bulk. Before you start clearing out space in your freezer, take a moment to really think about how much beef and veal you consume. This isn't about filling every nook and cranny with meat. It's about ensuring you have enough to meet your needs without going overboard. Remember, beef and veal need to be stored at or below zero degree F, 18 degree C, to keep them safe and tasty for the long haul. This means making sure your freezer isn't just big enough, but also set to the right temperature. Now, let's talk about longevity. Properly frozen cuts of beef can last you anywhere from six to 12 months, while ground beef and veal are best used within three to four months. But as prices are expected to rise, it's crucial to weigh the benefits of stocking up against the constraints of your budget. Buying in bulk might seem like a smart move now, but only if it doesn't stretch your finances too thin. It's all about finding that sweet spot where preparation meets prudence. Consider the variety of beef and veal cuts that make it into your meals. Are you a fan of slow-cooked roasts, or do you prefer the quick convenience of sautéed ground beef? Having a mix of cuts not only keeps your meals interesting, but also ensures you're ready for any recipe. And with the price hike on the horizon, purchasing these cuts now could be a strategic move to dodge those higher costs down the line. However, don't let your strategy end with beef and veal. Diversifying your protein sources is wise, especially in a market where prices are as unpredictable as the weather. With poultry and plant-based proteins often being more budget-friendly options, they can serve as excellent alternatives to help keep your food expenses in check. Stay vigilant for sales and bulk buying opportunities. Local butchers and farmers often run promotions, especially for larger purchases. These deals can be a godsend for your budget, provided you're ready to process and store the meat efficiently once you get it home. 6. Pork all right, let's dive a bit deeper into the nuances of pork prices and what it really means for you, especially if you're in the U.S., where pork is a staple in many diets. The recent data we've seen shows a minor dip in pork prices with a 1.4% decrease from November to December 2023. Now, this might seem like small potatoes, but in the grand scheme of things, it's an indicator of market fluctuations that could impact your wallet. Over the entire year, from December 2022 to December 2023, Prices have remained almost static, with just a 0.1% increase. However, as we gaze into the crystal ball for 2024, predictions suggest another 1.4% dip in prices. But with a cautionary note, the market could swing wildly, with potential decreases of up to 9.0% or increases up to 6.9%.
Now you might be sitting there pondering if it's the right time to turn your freezer into a pork sanctuary. With prices potentially on the decline, it's tempting to buy in bulk and save for a rainy day. If you're leaning towards long-term storage, pork is your friend. Freezing pork, whether it's chops, roasts, or bacon, is a fantastic way to extend its shelf life up to six months without losing that mouth-watering quality. Ground pork, though, is a bit more delicate, with a recommended freezer stay of three months. But why stop there? If you're really looking to play the long game, vacuum sealing is your ace in the hole. This method can nearly double the freezer life of your pork, pushing it to a year. That's a game changer, ensuring that your pork remains just as delicious as the day you bought it. And a pro tip, before you stash it away, break down your pork into meal-sized portions. This simple step can save you from thawing more than you need, keeping the rest of your stash in peak condition. And now let's not forget to label everything with the freezing date. This isn't just about being organized. It's about ensuring you enjoy your pork at its absolute best. It's easy to lose track of time. And before you know it, you're playing freezer roulette with your dinner plans. Given the forecasted dip in pork prices for 2024, now might be the perfect time to fill up your freezer, especially if you've got the space. But, and this is a big but, Remember that these predictions are not set in stone. The market can be as unpredictable as the weather, so it's crucial to stay informed and adapt your strategy as needed. While stockpiling can feel like a victory against future price hikes, it's vital to consider your actual consumption and storage capabilities. The last thing you want is to find yourself buried in a mountain of pork with nowhere to go. It's about finding that sweet spot between being prepared and being practical. Five, eggs. So, you're curious about the egg situation, right? Well, let me tell you, it's quite the roller coaster. With the highly pathogenic avian influenza outbreaks and the unpredictable swings in demand, egg prices have been incredibly volatile. And from what we're seeing, this trend doesn't seem like it's going to settle down anytime soon. Uh, now, let's talk about a scenario that's becoming all too common. You head to your local grocery store only to find the egg section completely bare or the prices through the roof. It's moments like these when you might kick yourself for not picking up a carton or two when you had the chance. This brings us to the concept of stockpiling. Eggs are a fundamental part of our diets, integral to everything from our morning breakfast routines to our baking endeavors. In light of recent events, having a stash of eggs isn't just clever. It's becoming a necessity. But the question arises, how much should you actually stockpile? Given the market's instability, aiming for a three to six month supply might not seem as far-fetched as it once did. It might sound a bit over the top, but in a situation where egg prices could spike unexpectedly or availability could drop, having your own supply could make a significant difference in your daily life. But here's the kicker, storing them. How do you keep eggs for the long term? While fresh eggs can last quite a bit if kept properly, we're looking at long-term solutions. That's where techniques like freezing or pickling come into play. Freezing eggs, for instance, is a viable option for keeping them usable for months. And then there's pickling, transforming your eggs into a delicious preserved delicacy that can add a unique twist to your meals. So while others might be stressing over the next egg shortage or price surge, you could be in a much calmer place, with a stash ready for whatever you're in the mood to cook or bake. Adopting a bit of a survivalist mindset towards your egg supply in these unpredictable times isn't just sensible. It's becoming increasingly practical. 4. Fats and Oils In 2023, we saw the essential grocery segment of fats and oils lead the charge with a staggering 9.0% price increase. And just when we thought that was the peak, predictions for 2024 suggest an even steeper climb, with fats and oils prices expected to jump by 3.6%. But hold on to your hats, because the prediction interval suggests fluctuations could range from a 2.7% decrease to an eye-watering 10.5% increase. Now let's get down to brass tacks. What does this mean for you sitting at home wondering how to navigate these turbulent economic waters? The smart move in the face of such uncertainty is to stockpile. But it's not just about hoarding, it's about strategic preparation. Consider securing a six-month to one-year supply of your essential fats and oils. Why? These aren't just any ingredients. They're the foundation of your cooking, crucial for everything from a simple stir-fry to the most intricate baking projects. In considering which fats and oils to stockpile, how much to store, and why, 
It's important to tailor your approach based on your cooking habits, dietary preferences, and storage capabilities. Let's dive into the specifics to ensure you make informed decisions that cater to your needs while navigating the unpredictable food price landscape. For olive oil, aim for two. Four liters, depending on your household size and usage. Olive oil is a staple in many kitchens, beloved for its health benefits and versatility in cooking, dressing, and baking. It has a relatively long shelf life of 18, 24 months if stored properly in a cool, dark place, making it an excellent candidate for stockpiling. For coconut oil, one, two liters should suffice for most households. With its high smoke point and long shelf life, up to two years, coconut oil is ideal for baking, frying, and even non-cooking uses like natural beauty treatments. Its solid state at room temperature means it's easy to store. Regarding canola and vegetable oil, two, four liters, tailored to your cooking frequency, would be wise. These oils are workhorses in the kitchen, perfect for frying, sautéing, and baking. They offer a neutral flavor and have a shelf life of up to a year, making them a practical choice for stockpiling. For specialty oils like sesame, walnut, and avocado, smaller quantities, such as 500 milliliters to one liter, since they are used less frequently, would be prudent. These oils add unique flavors to dishes, but are typically used in smaller amounts. Due to their higher price and shorter shelf life, it's wise to stockpile modest amounts based on your culinary needs. Remember, storage is key. Store oils away from direct sunlight and heat sources to prolong their shelf life. Keep them in their original bottles or tightly sealed containers to prevent oxidation. And use a first-in, first-out system to ensure older oils are used before they go rancid. Why stockpile these? For versatility, economic efficiency, and culinary preparedness. These oils cover a broad range of cooking and baking needs, ensuring you're prepared for any recipe. Buying in bulk can save money, especially if you purchase at current prices before anticipated increases. Having a variety of oils at hand means you can continue to enjoy your favorite dishes, experiment with new recipes, and maintain a balanced diet without being hindered by market fluctuations. 3. Have you ever considered the astonishing fact that the price of fresh fruits could potentially double as soon as next month? Have you ever stopped to think about the reality that the cost of fresh fruits could potentially double in the near future? Walking through your local market, you might be taken aback to see that the apples, bananas, and berries you've always considered staple foods are suddenly priced like luxury items. This isn't a far-off possibility. Looking ahead to 2024, the forecast for fresh fruit prices shows a modest increase of 1.0%, but there's a catch. The prediction interval swings from a decrease of 4.6% to an increase of 7.1%, signaling an undercurrent of uncertainty we can't afford to overlook. The reasons behind these potential price hikes are multifaceted. We're talking about the impact of climate change on crop yields, transportation hurdles, and even geopolitical tensions that can shake up supply chains. All these factors mingle in unpredictable ways, creating a market that's anything but stable. Under certain conditions, prices could soar, making our everyday fruits seem like indulgences. Now let's dive into the fruits that are worth your attention when it comes to stockpiling. Apples are a no-brainer. They last for months in a cool, dark place and are versatile. Think canning, applesauce, or drying. Citrus fruits, like oranges, lemons, and limes, also make the cut. They have a decent shelf life and can be juiced and frozen. Berries may spoil quickly when fresh, but freeze them. And you've got perfect ingredients for smoothies, baking, or toppings. Peaches and pears? They preserve well through canning, freezing, or drying. And grapes can be frozen for a tasty snack or dried into raisins. When it comes to stockpiling these treasures, you've got options. Canning fruits in syrup or their own juices can keep them tasting fresh for years. But remember, it's a process that requires some know-how to avoid spoilage and foodborne illnesses. Drying is another great route. It concentrates the flavors and extends shelf life, perfect for snacks or cooking additions. And freezing, probably the simplest method. Spread berries, sliced peaches or grapes on a baking sheet, freeze them individually, then move them to airtight containers for quality preservation. 2. In the realm of cereals and bakery products, we're standing at a crossroads, especially with the whirlwind of fluctuating prices that's predicted for the coming year. Reflecting back on 2023, 
we all felt the pinch with a significant increase of 8.4% from the year before. Now here's where it gets interesting. 2024 is throwing us a curveball with a forecasted decrease in prices by 1.1%. But let's not forget the world of food prices is anything but predictable. There's always that lurking risk of prices taking a wild swing upwards. And it's not out of the realm of possibility that we could see them doubling overnight. That's a scenario no one wants, but it's wise to be prepared for. So, what's the game plan for keeping your household secure against such unpredictability, especially when it comes to the staples that fill our pantries? One approach that might spring to mind is stockpiling. But here's the key. If you're going to store, do it smartly. Opt for items with a longer shelf life to avoid the heartache of having to toss out goods if those price hikes don't hit as hard as feared. Let's dive into what to keep an eye out for. Whole grains and flour are your best friends here. They're the foundation of countless bakery delights and boast an impressive shelf life when stored right. Wheat berries, for instance, can be your pantry's unsung heroes, lasting for years and ready to be turned into flour when you're in the mood for some baking. By keeping a good supply of whole grains, you're always ready to whip up bread, pasta, or any other baked good without a hitch. Dried pasta is another champion of the pantry. Its longevity is unparalleled, making it a prime candidate for long-term storage. Its versatility and ease of cooking mean it'll be a hit with the family, ensuring nothing goes to waste. Rice is a global staple for good reason. When stored properly, it can last for ages serving as the perfect base for a wide array of meals and ensuring you're always ready to put together a nutritious dish. Oats deserve a special mention. Not only can they be stored for years, but their nutritional value and versatility make them indispensable. From a warm bowl of oatmeal to homemade granola bars, oats have got you covered. And let's not forget about bread. Though it's usually best fresh, freezing bread transforms it into a long-lasting staple allowing you to enjoy it without needing to hit the store too often. When it comes to storage, remember these golden rules. Cool, dark, and dry places are your stockpile's best friends. Airtight containers are a must for grains and flour to fend off pests and moisture, and always rotate your stock, using the oldest items first to keep things fresh. 1. Did you know that in 2024, the dairy market in the USA is stirring up some interesting changes that could very well affect your wallet and pantry? Let's dive into what's happening and why you might want to consider stocking up on certain dairy products sooner rather than later. First off, the forecast for 2024 milk production has been adjusted downward to 228.3 billion pounds. That's a decrease of 0.7 billion pounds from what was previously expected. This might sound like a drop in the ocean, but in the world of dairy, it's quite significant. With production taking a slight dip, it's not just about having less milk for your morning cereal. This reduction has a ripple effect across the board on dairy product. Now here's where it gets interesting for your budget. The all milk price forecast for 2024 is pegged at $20 per hundred weight, which is actually 25 cents lower than what was forecasted last month. You'd think this is good news, right? However, the plot thickens when we consider the price forecasts for other dairy essentials. The prices for butter, dry whey, and non-fat dry milk are all expected to climb. On the flip side, the price forecast for cheddar cheese is taking a bit of a dip. But wait, there's more to consider, especially when it comes to where you're buying your dairy. The food at home prices are predicted to decrease slightly by 0.4%. This means the dairy products you buy for consumption at home might see a minor decrease in price. Contrastingly, food away from home prices are on the rise with a predicted increase of 4.7%. So, eating out or grabbing that latte on the go might start pinching your pocket a bit more. With these fluctuations, you might be wondering about the best strategy for managing your dairy consumption and expenses. Here's the deal. Stockpiling certain dairy products for long-term storage could be a savvy move, especially considering the potential for prices to double soon due to these market shifts. So, which dairy products should you consider for long-term storage and why? Butter. Given its price forecast increase, buying butter in bulk and freezing it can save you money in the long run. Butter freezes well and can be stored for several months. Non-fat dry milk. This product is a fantastic option for long-term storage. It has a long shelf life when stored properly and can be reconstituted into liquid milk for cooking, baking, or even drinking. 
Cheese. While the price forecast for cheddar cheese has been lowered, cheese in general can be frozen and kept for extended periods. Hard cheeses like cheddar, parmesan, and gouda freeze better than softer ones. Investing in these products now before their prices potentially spike could be a wise decision. Not only does it ensure you have a steady supply, but it could also lead to significant savings as prices fluctuate. I want to hear from you. What strategies do you have in place? How are you planning to tackle these upcoming challenges? Leave your comments below and let's strengthen our community through shared knowledge and support. Thank you for watching.